now, Stormwatch 12 weather with meteorologist Marissa Walzan. Well, yes, we saw plenty of clouds today, but temperatures still managed to get where they should be for this time of year. We got up to 45 degrees in Grants Pass. That is about average. Medford, 47 degrees, so a degree warmer there. Klamath Falls even getting up to 45 degrees, so you are above average. Your average is 39 degrees this time of year. Heading into Lakeview, the high temperature was 43 degrees today, a bit warmer to your south. Mount Sexton getting up to 42. Roseburg, 54 degrees. You had a long I-5 further to the south. 45 in Montague, 40, or excuse me, 53 in Mount Shasta this afternoon. Afternoon, even seeing those 53s in both Brookings and Crescent City this afternoon. Now we do have plenty of clouds out there, but temperatures are still remaining on the warmer side because of these clouds haven't fallen too far from our highs today. Upper 40s along the coast, along I-5, looking at those mid 40s, slightly cooler though, Mount Sexton, as well as in Montague. You head out into Lake, uh, excuse me, Klamath Falls and Lakeview. Now we're dipping into the upper 30s. Your overnight lows are actually going to be a bit warmer than what you saw uh, last night. Only should fall into the mid to upper 20s. Current satellite radar showing plenty. Plenty of clouds across the entire area and also some showers pushing on through. These are some light showers, only have picked up a few hundreds of an inch in many spots. Along the coast, though, a bit uh, more rain there, picking up a few tenths of an inch. And we do have more rain to come as we head into tomorrow, tomorrow night especially, and then also this weekend. Bigger picture across the entire Pacific Northwest, we aren't the only ones seeing the showers. Rain all the way up into western Washington. But you can see this storm is now pushing on through. Uh, this is the one that is bringing us the showers right now. And behind that storm, we have another storm out there over in the Central Pacific. This is going to slide in once we get into tomorrow afternoon along the coast evening and into the overnight hours for the rest of us. And that's when we're going to see the heaviest rain and also some snow showers above about 4,000 feet tomorrow night. So along the coast, isolated showers, at least in the morning. Then as we head throughout the day, they'll become a bit more uh, widespread and heavy as well as we head into the overnight hours. For those in Northern California, mostly cloudy throughout the day, just a slight chance for a shower, mainly late in the day. High temperatures will be back into the mid to upper 40s. For those in the Klamath Basin, also keeping things mostly cloudy, slight chance for a shower. Once again, mainly late in the day, you'll see your showers pick up as you head into Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. For the mountains, we're looking at rain showers across most of the area except snow showers up near Crater Lake. Your low temperature will be 29 degrees tomorrow morning. Your high temperature 29 degrees as well. So no changes there. Still well below freezing. Uh, we're looking at uh, isolated showers out there mainly in the morning. We'll begin to see those showers pick up by the afternoon and into the overnight hours tomorrow. For the Rogue Valley also going to keep things cloudy tomorrow. Isolated showers mainly in the morning. Then as we head into about dinner time and then by beyond that and into the overnight hours that's when we'll also see our showers pick up with this storm. Once again there is another storm as we head into the weekend. So along the coast, showers tomorrow turning to more rain overnight Wednesday into Thursday. We'll see a few showers linger into Friday, but a stronger storm moves in on Saturday. This one is not only going to bring us some rain, but also possibly some strong winds along the coast. We will probably see some advisories issued later this week. For those in the Northern California area, a slight chance for a shower tomorrow. Better chance, though, as you head into Wednesday night and into Thursday. We'll see a break from the rain on Friday, but with that storm on Saturday, we'll also see plenty of rain showers. Highs throughout the week will be in the 50s. For those in the Klamath Basin, slight chance for a shower tomorrow, but you'll see those showers pick up a bit as you head into Wednesday night into Thursday. Break from the rain on Friday, but more rain moves in as you head into Saturday. That freezing level is still pretty high. For those in the mountains, we're looking at a rain snow mix the next couple of days. It pretty much depends on what elevation you're at. We're looking at showers tomorrow with a freezing level at about 5,500 feet, but that will drop to about 3,000 feet on Thursday, so more people getting some snow. I'm mainly looking at about three to six inches above 4,000 feet. But we're looking at more snow above about 4,000 feet as we head into Saturday, another three to six inches. So uh, we're looking at good snow totals at the higher elevations. For those in the Rogue Valley, looking at isolated showers tomorrow morning, but we'll see them uh, pick up, up a bit as we head later into the day. More rain on Thursday, break Friday, and then that bigger storm on Saturday bringing us some rain, good mountain snow, and some windy conditions, especially along the coast. Long overdue. Thanks. Yes.